Why Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling and why now? Well, I mean, we just sort of, Carly, my co-creator and I, we really just like stumbled across it. There was no like, this feels very timely or like, this feels like just the right time to do this. We really fell head first into this mm -hmm. um, documentary that we watched about the women of GLOW looking back on their time making the show. And mm -hmm. we were sort of on the hunt for something to work on together and um, and it just, it just hit us and we wanted to dig into it and we did a ton of research and started watching old episodes because we had not ever heard of it, nor had we ever been wrestling fans. We hadn't seen, mm -hmm. you know, we, there was no wrestling literacy between the two of us. So yeah. we just got going and then we roped in Genji and tried to figure out how we would do our version of GLOW mm -hmm. today. Okay, and I, I can see, because I've seen bits of the original TV show uh -huh. through the documentary. It's on yeah. ne Netflix now. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I can see you obviously tried to kind of recreate the tone a little bit. There's definitely, I mean, we definitely um, held on to some of the elements uh, in terms of, you know, that it was very, there are elements that were so homemade yeah. and so weird yeah. and things that just didn't go together. And, you know, there was, there was something like a little low rent about the about the actual glow show yeah. which was delightful mm. to us like we were like that is just insane <laughs> that that was on tv yeah. and it looked like that i mean it, there were parts of it that just looked terrible mm -hmm. in like the most charming way yeah so it was definitely that part of it that we wanted to to honor um but then with the characters and the wrestling personas we created all new characters and all new wrestling personas because we wanted the creative freedom to be able to take the characters where we wanted to go Absolutely. Yeah. And then, so did you uh, write characters with people in mind, or how did the, the casting um, For the go most down? part, we didn't write characters with people in mind. Um, we had worked with Betty Gilpin on Nurse Jackie, and so, mm -hmm. and loved her, and knew that we wanted her desperately to be a part of this show. Um, yeah. But we didn't quite know where everyone would fit, and we certainly didn't know, we didn't know Allie at all, Alison Brie at all, yeah. um, until we discovered her um, when she auditioned for us. and. We made her jump through like a million hoops and audition a bunch because we were initially, we were like, oh, she just she's very funny and very sweet, but I don't know if she's gritty enough. And mm -hmm. then she blew us away. Yeah. Um, when she auditioned, and then it was just trying to find the chemistry of those two friends because when the we knew the spine of the first season would really be about about Ruth and Debbie, about Allie's character and Betty's character, mm -hmm. and and knowing that those two actresses were gonna sort of make or break the, how you felt going through the first season. So it was it was a long process. And then we just wanted to have, you know, a very diverse cast, a lot of different body types. You know, mm -hmm. the show was so physical and we didn't want everybody to be, you know, 90 pounds, you know, wrestling. Yeah. It wasn't gonna be any fun. So we wanted to make sure we had, you know, a bunch of different looking women to help us tell our story physically too. Absolutely, and I mean, I guess the the show, at some on some level, is about female empowerment. Mm -hmm. uh, how important is it for you to to kind of have a show depicting that uh, these days? You know. I mean, I, it doesn't hurt. Yeah. You know, it feels good to watch it. I think, and that's important. Um, mm -hmm. And I think we also like have to undercut that too, because I think that in the '80s, there you know, it, it didn't always feel empowering. And I think that mm -hmm. there's a lot of just inherently a lot of exploitation in terms of women and wrestling and you know what they were wearing and who they were wrestling for and who was looking at them and mm -hmm. who was you know who was creating that show I mean this is a glow created by women and mm -hmm. that is not what the you know what the original glow was no. so I think our intention is different but I think I think what holds true for both of them is that these women on our show and the women of the original Glow discovered a real power and, a, you know, and felt completely like superheroes in the ring and it really transformed them. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and do you have um, plans for future seasons already laid out? We don't. We're hopeful for future seasons. We mm -hmm. have some ideas, but nothing, nothing set in stone yet. Ladies and gentlemen!